Good morning. Today, we're going to look at the 10 by 10 abacus, and we're going to do visual practice. Now, that assumes that you've worked with the abacus, and it's also good to use this as a source for ways to practice. But, let's have a look today at number bonds. One of the first ways to look at number bonds is to have young kids make steps. And after practicing counting the beads, uh, what can happen here is they begin to visualize. And if they look at steps, clearly they know there are 10 in each row. And if they look at either side, they can begin to look at what makes 10. Very important, these number bonds. These add to the mental math capacity and enjoyment. All right, after you've learned those, you could use a adds to 10 test. This can be done by covering up half the abacus and passing it over back and forth between kids. And let's take a look at what's under blue. And if you notice, the way this is done would be to just uncover as you go. Let's do this a couple of times. You can also call out in choral response. Let's take a look. And frequent practice of this early on really helps in addition and subtraction because you can use the process of grouping and rounding and correction and give and take. This is really an important concept and it's easy to practice this. You click new again and a whole new lineup comes up. Anyway, let's move ahead. You can also use just one row. And if you say new, and then say call it out, what makes 10? New, and call it out. Now, number bonds to 20. Starting to get a little tougher, notice we have 2 on the left total and 18 on the right. And since they know that 2 rows make 20, uh, they should be able to, students should be able to sort of begin to get a grasp of the patterns of what makes 20. Let's do this a little bit here. New. That's 3 and 17. New, that's 1 and 19. New, ha <laughs> ha, that's 10 and 10. New, woo -hoo. that's 3 and 17. New, <laughs> We've got 8 and 12. New? Oh, we've got 1 and 19. One of the most important number bonding concepts is a hundred. Why? If you look at this, you can see that we know there are a hundred in the whole, there are 10 rows of 10 and being in there are 10 in each row and it's fairly easy to see the number bonds. 
Uh, notice that the tens digit adds to nine, okay, and the units digit adds to ten. This is especially when the t middle ten is broken up. Let's take a look. This really helps in fast visualization, but it's not like a flip card. It's just learning to recognize quickly. Now, which way would you rather learn your number facts? Either through patterns or flashcards. Patterns, you actually get to think. And as you're thinking, then you learn. And believe me, if you think, you will remember. This is an alternative way to learn number patterns and facts. I recommend the abacus, the 10 by 10 abacus. Actually, you can begin to use the 10 by 10 abacus just as a visual toy uh, when you have a four year old. And then you can actually use it right up through middle school for some fairly complicated activities on the abacus. Anyway, the idea here, this is not an abacus that's made to calculate fast. It's an, al an abacus, this abacus is to learn to think about numbers. You have yourself a good time. Bye.